a hater, here's a slammer I know they hating on us, but mind your manners What's up guys, it's Chandler Alexis and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing my tattoo reveal. Basically, I have a bunch of tattoos and you guys have been asking me the stories behind them. And then I also have one tattoo that none of you guys have seen yet. It's a hidden tattoo and a hidden spot. The only time people will ever see it is like if I'm naked or if I'm like wearing no clothing in that area. But other than that, no one's really ever gonna see it. You guys have also been asking me what are the meanings behind my tattoos. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna tell you guys the meanings. All of my tattoos have a meaning behind them. I am the type of person that I believe if you're gonna mark your body up, at least get things that symbolize you or the people around you or things that have happened in your life don't just get like oh I'm just gonna throw a star on my body because I think a star looks cool you know what I mean but again that's preference that's my preference if that's what you want to do though do that go ahead but I personally think that if you're gonna get something that's gonna be on you forever it should have a meaning so all my tattoos have meanings but before I get started I want to say if you like this video y'all know what to do thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already joined the fam we'd love to have you and Comment down below which tattoo of mine is your favorite after I'm done showing y'all. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Alright, so I'm going to go in order of the way that I got my tattoos. So, the first tattoo that I got, which I get a lot of questions about, is my band. I got this tattoo when I was 18. On a scale of 1 to 10, it hurt about a 5. I got it in Escondido, California. The guy that I went to go get this from, I'd never gotten a tattoo from him before. Obviously, it was my first tattoo. I didn't even like really look at his work. I just kind of like knew that the price would be cheap and I didn't want to pay a lot for my tattoo. For this tattoo, I paid like $80. As you guys see, my tattoo is two lines, but the top line is broken apart with three dots. The reason I got this tattoo in this spot on my arm is because my mom has a band on her arm of like tethered rope. And so I wanted to get the same thing. I've always liked her band. And so I always knew like if I ever got a tattoo to represent my mom, I wanted it to be a band in the same spot, the same arm, the same like location of the arm and but I knew I wanted something different I didn't want the exact same thing you know well, the bottom line stands for your lowest point in life the top line stands for strength since it's above the, t the lower line what strength you can overcome any low points that you have in life the top line though I broke it apart into three dots because I think with strength and overcoming obstacles you're going to be passing or surpassing certain points in your life that I feel like should be, you know, remembered. The first dot stands for the beginning of my life and not like the day I was born. It stands for the day that I start living my life how I want to live it. Not how society thinks I should live it, not how my parents think I should live it, not how my friends think I should live it. It's when I start living my life how I want to live life. And that also had to go with I wanted to be able to have my own freedom, decide what days I get off of work, decide when I go to work, when I go to school, like those kind of things. And so basically like the day that I could travel and I don't have to say, hey mom, can I borrow some money so I can go to Europe real quick? Or hey job, I'm going to Europe, can I take the, the next two weeks off of work? Like, cause I wouldn't happen, you know, I'm not living my life how I want to if I'm doing that. I actually did, you know, surpass that point. I am now living life how I want to. I make my own schedule. I mean, obviously I have ties to California. Like I have like uh, meetings and stuff in LA and stuff, but if I don't want to go to them, I don't have to go to them, you know? The second dot stands for the middle of your life. And the middle for me is when I am financially stable and I have so much money in my bank account that no matter what happens, if the economy starts to die, I'm still gonna be okay. I still have a roof over my head, my family's taken care of, and I'm taken care of. That's what that basically means. And then the last dot on my arm stands for the ending of my life. Doesn't mean death. It just basically means that I've done so much in the world. I've left my mark on the world. I've left an imprint on so many lives. And I've done so many things that I would be content with dying. You know, I made an impact on the world. I made the world a better place and I'm okay with going, you know? Cause like right now, I feel like I haven't done enough to be like, I'm okay with dying, you know? But 
when I'm like 90 years old maybe I'll be like hey I've done a lot I'm I'm okay you know so yeah that's the first tattoo those are all the meanings behind this tattoo and I know so many meanings behind one tattoo but I really put a lot of thought into this tattoo because when I was growing up I didn't even like tattoos I thought they were trashy I thought they were not cute like not on anyone but <laughs> eventually I was like yo actually I kind of want a tattoo and so I told myself this is gonna be my first and only tattoo that I ever got and of course that didn't happen. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. The second tattoo that I got was the second spot on my arm. So the second tattoo says, destroy what destroys you. Growing up, you know, I had kids who bullied me in school. I had kids who told me I would never become anything important. I had kids tell me that like my life wasn't important. I even had kids who told me that I should kill myself or that I should go die in a hole. Like, you know, really mean, mean things. But... I was a strong enough person and I was able to ignore all of the hate that I had and still accomplish so much in life. Like I'm looking at myself now and I'm like, wow, I would have never thought that this would have been my life. And the fact that now those kids hit me up talking about, hey, so I know we weren't that cool in high school or anything, but you know, we're older, we've changed. Like, do you want to go out for lunch? And I'm like, if it were you, I'd be dead. You know what I mean? You wouldn't be hitting me up because you told me to kill myself. So if it was up to you, I would have been dead. So don't talk to me. <laughs> but with that being said, it's like I thank those kids, you know, on the same note. Like I thank those kids. Like you guys made me better. You guys made me a better version of myself every day. You guys made me stronger. You guys made me have tougher skin. You guys made me determined. And so this tattoo, destroy what destroys you. The full meaning behind it means destroy the ideas that people have of you basically the things that people say they're trying to destroy you so instead of letting those things destroy you destroy them like destroy their thoughts of you destroy their perception of you destroy what they think that you're going to become and become what you want to become do better than your haters do better than what they think of you you know what i mean so yeah that was always been just encouragement to me so for the future if there's you know other haters or if there's people who are telling me i can't I'm going to prove you fucking wrong. Just wait on it. I got this tattoo when I was 19. I paid $60 for this one, including with tip, because I got some more, which I'll show you in a second, on the same day. But this tattoo is very small, so he only charged me $60 for it. On a scale of 1 to 10, it hurt maybe like a 8. I also got this tattoo in Escondido, but I got it from a different tattoo artist. I also got these tattoos the same day. I have three finger tattoos. And I got these in Escondido. I was 19 years old. I paid $60 total. So for the three finger tattoos and the arm tattoo, I paid $60. On a scale of 1 to 10, these finger tattoos hurt about a 25. I have piercings. I've gotten laser hair removal. I've gotten tattoos. And out of everything that I've gotten done to my body, these finger tattoos hurt the worst. I was screaming in the shop. I was crying. I was cursing. It hurt so bad. I would never get them done again. I would advise that no one ever get them done. That's how bad it hurt. They are starting to fade. Yes, these tattoos do fade because they're on the inside of your fingers and that skin eventually sheds. So eventually they'll probably be like all the way gone and like by the time I'm like 60 years old. And also these tattoos were kind of like a in the moment kind of thing because I got this tattoo and he was like, Usually he wouldn't even charge someone $60 for this. He would probably charge like 20 or 30 because of how like quick it was done, how small it was, etc. So he was like, are you sure there's nothing else you want to get? And I was thinking and I was like, you know what? I was thinking about getting my family members birthdays on me, but I don't really know if I want it for sure. Is there any spot that I could get it where it won't be seen? So that sounds so messed up like I want my family on me but I don't want it to be seen not like that I just wasn't sure about the tattoo so if I did get it anywhere I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't be seen so he was like yo you could get it in the fingers because you can't see it you know most people don't even know I have finger tattoos and I was like hey that's actually a really good idea so when he said that I was like you know what yeah I'll do it I'll get it in my fingers I, I've always wanted finger tattoos and the fact that I can get their, their birthdays which that's what it is I'm gonna put it on my fingers Jolie's birthday in Roman numerals Tyler's birthday in Roman numerals and my mom's birthday in Roman numerals they're fading you can't get them touched up I'm not going to fuck that moving on my next tattoo that I got was this one on my arm I got this tattoo when I was in Spain in Gran Canaria I was 20 years old on a scale of 1 to 10 it hurt about a 4 I paid $20 for this tattoo by the way I'm giving you guys the prices without tip because I do tip my tattoo artist. I didn't know the man's work. I literally told my boyfriend at the time 
that I wanted to get a tattoo in Spain and so we just literally walked around Spain and there's like a bunch of tattoo shops and so we were just walking around and asking them when would they be available to do my tattoo and that guy was like I can do it right now and so I was like okay cool because I had a flight that day so I had to leave so the sooner well I thought I had a flight that day I ended up having my flight the next day I got the dates confused but I thought I had a flight that night so I was like I need to get it now as soon as possible so he was like I can do it right now so we went in I hadn't seen any of his work either like I saw it before by the way all the people that I said I haven't seen their work means I didn't do my research I didn't you know they didn't have like an Instagram or something I literally walked in the shop looked at their book then and there and I was like okay I guess which is not a good idea I think if you're gonna get a tattoo you should probably do research because you know some which I'll get into some of my tattoos are not the best tattoos that I've ever had and they could have been better but this tattoo is actually one of my favorite tattoos I think it was done really great the lines are pretty well damn near straight the tattoo that i have is a stamp i like to say stamp because i put a box around it but it is the coordinates of the highest point in the city that i was in the reason i got this tattoo is because as you guys remember that first dot on my tattoo up here was the day that i could live my life the way i wanted to and this was a big moment in my life where it was like the first thing that i was able to do without having to call into work or without having to ask for permission i went to spain i booked the trip like two nights before packed my shit got on a flight and went to spain for a week and a half a week and a half or a week i don't even know for a long time basically i traveled by myself which is dangerous i guess you can say i think this tattoo is really dope a lot of people look at my tattoos and usually they'll say that that is their favorite or my band all right so the next tattoo that i got was also a set i got my wrist tattoos and this one's kind of confusing this one also has a few meanings behind it so the first meaning would be that i got this tattoo on friday the 13th vertically you'll realize that there's an x and there's three lines and in roman numerals that number is a 10 the x is a 10 and the three lines are the number three together that number is 13. as i started getting more tattoos i started realizing like yo i want more but what do i want them for and i always said you know what i want a friday the 13th tattoo because all my friends have them and that's not really a good reason to get one but it was something that i wanted to be a part of to be able to say oh yeah i have a friday the 13th tattoo but whenever you go to tattoo shops and look at the friday the 13th tattoos they're always so like ugly like they're not mm, they're always just really tacky and they always have the number 13 written on it and i just i didn't want that like i didn't want my tattoos to be so obvious as to what the meaning was behind them as you guys can obviously tell so i it was just like nope i don't want that so i was i actually walked into the tattoo shop and i asked the guy i was like hey so i kind of want to do a different spin-off on the friday the 13th tattoo would you be able to do that and he was like sure i'll just charge you five dollars more so the tattoos originally were twenty dollars for friday the 13th I paid $25, which actually surprisingly is more than I should have paid for my tattoo on the size that it is, but I'm okay with that because it's still pretty cheap for a tattoo, I would say. Like, I, I spent $25 on dinner, you know what I mean? So I didn't really care, but for those of you who do care about like price and stuff, I would say don't really spend $25 for the size of the tattoo that I got. I would have paid someone like $15 probably, it would be decent, but $25. I also told myself that one day I wanted to get a spontaneous tattoo. I wanted to walk into a shop and just say, hey, I want a tattoo. The tattoo that I would get would be an X to basically say X marks the spot and the X would mark the spot of the random spontaneous tattoo that I got because I figured that any tattoo shop can easily draw an X on you and not fuck it up, you know? So when I went to the Friday the 13th shop, I had actually just like walked past the shop and was like, oh, I want to get a tattoo. I didn't even realize it was Friday the 13th until I walked in and he was like, we got Friday the 13th deals. So when I was looking at getting a 13 tattoo, I realized that the number 10 in Roman numerals is an X and that also fit into my spontaneous X tattoo. So yeah, that is why it's also in the color red because it also symbolizes a different thing outside of the Roman numerals, if that makes sense. And then the last thing to say about this tattoo is the reason that they are split apart is not really mainly for the fact that it's the X tattoo and then the Friday the 13th tattoo because I could have still gotten them like written next to each other and just had the red X and still meant it to stand for my spontaneous tattoo. But my favorite number is also three i was born on january 3rd and the number three has always just really stood out to me not even just because of my birthday i just feel like i have a connection with the number three it sounds really strange i know but the number 333 is my favorite number and so when i realized that the number 13 like the three could also be separate 
I was like, yo, I want to separate them so that I can also set, have the three lines here and it stands for my favorite number. I know it's also kind of like a dumb reason to get a tattoo, but it fit. You know what I mean? Like, if it didn't fit, I wouldn't have just gotten a number three written on my body. I wouldn't do that. But because it fit in with that, I was like, I'm going to make the most out of this tattoo. You feel me? Later on, I actually found out, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my vlog channel, subscribe. By the way, I'm sorry if I seem, like, really tired in this video. I am. But if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go check it out. I vlogged the fact that I found out my path number is the number three. If you don't know what a path number is go watch that vlog i was 21 when i got this tattoo i got it in la on a scale of one to ten it hurt like a four or a three maybe like it was so quick that i didn't even feel it i also forgot to mention the guy who did this tattoo he sucked he fucked my tattoo up i actually got this tattoo redone yesterday by chris i will leave his information in the description he is a great tattoo artist he is also the person who did my hidden tattoo that i'm about to show you guys i'll also insert some clips of that at the end of this video so you guys can see but he's an amazing tattoo artist he does some of my friends tattoos and that's how i found out about him and i actually did do my research about him i looked at his instagram i looked at his work i have friends who i looked at their tattoos and he has really good line tattoos like he's really good at lines so i went and got my hidden tattoo i was i knew that i was gonna ask him to fix this tattoo because this one was like crooked before it was fading it looked like shit it looked like a stock line i think that's what this it, it looked like um like the wi-fi bars you know how your wi-fi bar, literally you guys know how on your wi-fi it like lines up it goes like it builds up whatever that's how my tattoo looked it was not cute at all i would definitely recommend if you get any tattoos do your research on the artist you don't want to spend your money on something you're going to regret later in life that's all i'm going to say about it all right so now on to my hidden tattoo reveal which you guys have all been waiting for i got this tattoo last night or yesterday just like i said from chris is actually one of my favorite tattoos i'm kind of sad that it's hidden because it's like literally one of my favorite tattoos but yeah i'm gonna show you guys where it's at like, did you think I was really about to pull my pants down? No, I'm not. My hidden tattoo is right here. But yeah, I got it yesterday. The letter L in cursive. It stands for my grandma. If you guys don't know this, my grandma is my best friend. She means the world to me. And my grandma loves it. She saw it. I sent her a picture. And the fact that she loves the tattoo means even more to me. On a scale of 1 to 10, it hurt like a, I didn't even feel that one, maybe like a two, a two or a three. But I heard that spot's kind of painful too, but not for me. It didn't hurt at all. So yeah, maybe like a two or a three on a scale of one to ten. Does this spot hurt? It does hurt a little bit, yes. Ooh, what hurts worse, this spot or underneath my arm? Probably this spot. Oh. This spot might not be as bad as your fingers. Though. Okay. Fingers are pretty bad. You ready? Yep. As ready as I'll ever be. Most typical response. <laughs> oh, it's not bad at all. It's not too bad? Mm -mm. Awesome. It's done. Look at how cute that is. Oh my. That's perfect. It goes with the rest of my tattoos too. Yeah, those are all my tattoos. That was my hidden tattoo reveal. Guys, I'm so tired. I don't know if my energy is here or not. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing. It's probably not. I'm so exhausted. Like, I just want to take a nap. Anyways, besides the point, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed having a look at my tattoos and finally understanding the meaning behind them. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I mean, you just watched this whole fucking video. Subscribe. Subscribe to subscribe. And also comment down below which of my tattoos was your favorite and I will be reading you guys' comments and responding to any questions you guys have as well. But yeah, I'm Chandler Alexis and I love you guys so much. I'm signing out. Bye guys. Can you see it? The worst is over.